Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Gonna go through the majority of this article here. There's a link in the description. Pretty gruesome. Uh, this occurred in Brooklyn. So, yeah, to give you a bit of an overview to begin with, several days ago, uh, a headless torso was found in a shopping cart, a shopping trolley in Brooklyn. Uh, I made a video on it at the time. Uh, there was a guy, he was it was 3 a.m. in the morning or 1.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, there was a shopping cart in his way for some reason, so he pushed it out of the way. Whilst he was doing that, he decided to have a peek inside the bag. He discovered a headless torso. Um, police were struggling to identify the victim because they didn't really have too much to go on. They couldn't do dental records, a dental record check, uh, or fingerprint checks because it was just the the torso, it had been dismembered and beheaded. Um, yeah, pretty gruesome. Now, I believe two days later, I may have that part wrong, but, you know, a day or two or three later, in the same area, they found a leg. Uh, I didn't really look into that part of the story, but they did find a leg, and uh, thankfully, at this time, they have uh, the police have their suspect of course let's remind ourselves the suspect hasn't gone through a trial as yet however however you know we've both uh, we, we've got brains in our heads i do you do we can come to our own speculation our own conclusions our own beliefs my belief is that they've got the right guy what do i know i don't know much at all uh, could be entirely wrong in regards to that, but I think they do have their right guy. So who is this guy? Well, first off, he's not a guy. He's a woman, as you can clearly see. He's a woman. Uh, he's he's transsexual, 83 years of age. And uh, this is the, or rather, he's been convicted of murdering two people previously. So this is potentially his third victim, but thinking about it, Maybe there are other victims out there. Who knows? Um, so his name, her name is Harvey Marcelin, 83 years of age. He killed two women, one in 1963, one in 1983. Uh, and he's now been arrested in connection to a the murder of a 68-year-old woman in Brooklyn last week. So uh, the police have identified who the victim is. They weren't initially able to do that. So let's have a, a look at some of the details. And there are a few interesting controversial aspects to this. Number one, the fact that he, she is transsexual. Is that relevant? Well, of course, it's something which needs to be reported on. You know, it's it's a significant aspect of the person's identity. Um, so it needs to be reported on. Is it significant? I mean, I'd be too... If I thought it was significant, I'd be too scared to say so. I'd be too scared to say so. So is it significant? Ultimately, I don't know. I guess statistically, you're going to have serial murders uh, in all shapes and forms um, from all segments, sections of life. Uh, but, you know, on the other hand, I've got a part of me which is saying, well, trans people are suffering some kind of mental disorder, mental illness. I think disorder is the right term, gender dysphoria, and whatever else. I don't think psychologists, psychiatrists necessarily have an absolutely full understanding of what the heck's going on with trans people at this point in time. Um, I'm not a transphobe, by the way. I mean, I find it odd. It clearly is odd. Um, and it clearly is a mental disorder gender dysphoria clearly is a mental disorder and there seems to be other things going on the trans community has an outrageously high suicide level i believe there's a lot of violence in the community um got on a ramble there but uh, you know is it a significant issue i mean probably i mean we, we probably can't focus on it too much because we'll get banned we'll get cancelled we'll be called nasty names um, but uh, yeah, probably, probably does have a thing or two about it. Here's another thing which is controversial about this case. He's been on lifetime parole. So as I mentioned, he's already been convicted of killing two women. 
you know, yet he's on the streets, you know, is that wise, is that wise, there's a bit of a talking point there, you know, some people are going to think, well, he served his time, let the guy, let the girl free, and others are going to think, well, you know, if you're going to murder people on uh, on an ongoing basis, perhaps you shouldn't be allowed back into society, some people are going to think that, personally, I uh, agree with the death penalty, I would think two to the to the back of the head um would solve a lot of these issues but back to the article an 83 year old transsexual on lifetime parole for killing two women one in 1963 and another reportedly shortly after she got out of prison in 1984 uh after the transsexual got out of prison has been charged in connection with the killing of a 68 year old woman whose body was found dismembered in a Brooklyn neighborhood. Harvey Marcelin, a transgender woman, was arrested late last week on a charge of concealing a body and could soon face upgraded charges after she was allegedly caught on surveillance cameras dumping a body near her Cypress Hills apartment in Brooklyn, New York. Sources identified the victim as Susan Layden, formerly of Teaneck, New Jersey, and apparently Harvey Marcelin knew her. Uh, the victim's headless torso was stuffed into a garbage bag and dumped in a shopping cart in Brooklyn. Last Thursday, a passerby made the grisly discovery on Pennsylvania and Atlantic Avenues in the borough around 1.45 a.m. when he peeked inside the garbage bag. Police said the female corpse was found inside the bag without a head or limbs and did not appear to be decomposed. A search warrant into Marceline's home turned up a human head, along with electric saws that Marceline had bought at a nearby home depot. And here's the victim, Susan Layden, 68 years of age. Formerly of Teaneck, New Jersey, and they knew each other. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say something, okay? You may feel this is an out, out of place comment, comment, an out of pocket comment, but I'm going to say it anyway. I would in no way personally associate, and I would, nor would I encourage anyone else to associate with those people that have significant mental issues and or have had um, severe a severe criminal history i just would not have anything to do with them even if they had just been accused of things i'll just be like you know what i don't need to have you in my life i don't need to be your friend you don't need to be my friend we don't need to be acquaintances um i'd rather not have anything to do with you so I mean, I'm going to be an arsehole here, aren't I? I can feel it. I'm going to say this, and this is me being an arsehole. And of course, full condolences to the victim's family. Um, Susan, of course, did not deserve to be murdered and dismembered. However, this is me being an arsehole. arsehole. However, Susan, if if you were aware of this man, this woman's past... Of having killed two women previously. Why the heck were you. You know acquaintances with him her. Maybe there's a good reason to that. Maybe she was trying not to be an acquaintance. I don't know. But uh, I'm just saying this. You know perhaps because a lot of the articles that I'm reading. It is between uh, partners. You know lovers uh, in the main. Parents. Um, and often a lot of the articles that I'm reading, often it's a woman uh, in a relationship with someone, with a a man with a very long criminal history. Um, And I just think to myself, well, you shouldn't have been in that relationship. And Susan, I can't help but feel, and I could be completely out of pocket here, but I can't help but feel that you would have done better not to have had any relationship with this guy, this woman. I would have run a fucking million miles. 
I would have had nothing to do with this person at all. Not in any way, shape or form. Um, and does that show a lack of kindness and a lack of forgiveness within me? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Uh, I, I don't care. I, I mean, it, it, more than that, it shows uh, a degree of reason and logic and self-preservation within myself. You know, just logically... You can know that if you're going to hang around, if you're going to be acquaintanced with someone that with a, a long criminal history, especially if it's violent, you're going to know that nothing good is going to happen. You're going to know that uh, there is a risk that there will be some level of fallout that may befall you. Um, I'm going to move on from that line of thought that that is a bit of a, a tangent ramble. So we'll go back to the article and our, our, you know, trigger warning, perhaps a little bit of a late trigger warning. There is, you know, a certain gruesome aspect to this situation. On Monday, a severed leg, which had been cut from the knee down and was still wearing a sock, was poking out of a discarded tire four blocks away. It is believed to belong to the same woman as the torso. By scouring surveillance footage, police were able to track down a woman seen dumping the trash bags. Uh, Susan Layden, the victim, was last seen alive on February the 27th as she entered Harvey Marceline's apartment, carrying a multicoloured bag with a flower decal, according to prosecutors. Marceline was spotted leaving the building with the same bag three days later. So I'm just going to comment here. Of course, no trial has taken place, but it seems to me the police have their man, have their woman, in my belief, uh, my speculation. It seems like they they already have got ample evidence. Um, I'm no lawyer. I could be wrong, but that's how it seems to me as a layman. The murder of Susan Layden is the third killing Harvey Marceline has been connected to. On April the 18th, 1963, Marceline was arrested for shooting her then-girlfriend, Jacqueline Bonds, three times inside their Manhattan apartment. Harvey Marceline was sentenced to 20 years to life and was paroled in 1984. She went on to fatally stab another girlfriend, stuffing her body into a bag and dumping it on the streets near Central Park. Harvey Marceline was arrested in 1986 and convicted of manslaughter. She was released from the Cayuga Correctional Facility in 2019. Prior to her release, Harvey Marceline had admitted during a parole hearing that she had a problem with women. Harvey Marceline is currently in custody and being held without bail at Rikers Island. Uh, the notorious Rikers Island. The Brooklyn District Attorney's Office said the case is still under investigation. The incident comes as the city continues to see a drastic spike in violent crime compared to last year. Okay, so we can have a look at that. Overall crimes in New York up 47%. That is insane. Um, felony assaults up 19%. Shooting victims up basically 19%. Um, so, yeah, New York is facing some severe, severe violent crime. Um, police crime scene unit. I think I, yeah, I remember seeing this little corner. There was a shooting here recently. Yeah, there, this is the same corner. There was a shooting out just uh, a week or two ago. Um, there we go. There's that article. Thanks for listening. I'll wrap things up at this point. If you do like the video, then do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Give me a bit of encouragement uh, to, to make more videos. Um, getting close to 200 subs, so I'm happy with that. Uh, if you feel like you need a little bit of a mental break, then go away. Go away. Stop watching these videos. Go and do something a little bit nicer with your time. Um, my suggestion would be to subscribe to one of the friends of the channel at the end of the day. Uh, Bella, she does nice pleasant youtube live streams uh chit chatting about this about that current affairs bit of politics bit of this bit of that uh, but it's a nice kind community place to have a little bit of fun 
uh, if you're looking for that kind of thing. Of course, condolences to the victim's family, uh, prayers for the victim. Uh, I mean, it's a tragic and disgusting loss of life. And, you know, to, I can't think of the right word, but to desecrate the body in such a way, is, is that the right term? Um, it is hideous. And, of course, I hope uh, this scumbag gets yet another trial, uh, yet another trial at the taxpayer's expense. And, you know, this time, don't let him out. Um, it's that easy. Uh, why the fuck he's been let out in the past or he she has been let out in the past boggles my mind um but uh yeah what a tragic loss of life and of course uh, best wishes to the family <laughs>